Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we are going to discuss Drive-In Delirium from Umbrella Entertainment. These discs come from the land down under, but they are region-free Blu-rays. You can play them anywhere. They are trailer compilations. Uh, some of the coolest trailer compilations that I'm aware of. And I gotta be honest with you guys, Umbrella sent these over to me for review. Before uh, they did that, I had heard of these, but I had not watched any of them. Now I am sold on the drive-in delirium. These are so well done. If you saw our more unseen horror video from a week or two ago, I talked briefly about drive-in delirium, dead by dawn which is the horror volume that really, I mean, they all have horror in them. Like even this one, this is like the action. What is this? With a vengeance, drive in delirium with a vengeance. This one is mostly action and adventure trailers, but then it veers in the horror too. They all kind of are fluid. They, they focus on a thing, but then they don't fear venturing away from that. I, you know, let me give you an overview of these really quick. They are each composed of two parts. There's a part one and a part two. Uh, each part is preceded by some vintage commercials, like on the uh, the Drive-In Delirium with a Vengeance. We get some vintage '60s monkeys ads, like uh, the band, the well, the the band slash pop culture personalities, the monkeys. Um, there's like a vintage Kool-Aid commercial that just keeps going and going. It's like a three minute Kool-Aid commercial <laughs> with the monkeys, but it's wonderful. There's a commercial for Mego Kiss dolls from the seventies. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And then they launch into the trailers. Um, and each half is about three hours and 15 minutes. So if you look at one volume here, uh, you're looking at about six and a half hours just in vintage trailers. And then as if that's not enough, they have included uh, like so this one includes son of VHS delirium and this the horror volume includes bride of VHS delirium and that is exactly what it sounds like it's VHS trailers so things that did not play at the drive-in things that were video store staples low-budget horror regional horror things that we've never heard of that sort of thing those are included on the VHS delirium installments which are of course standard definition there's no point in having you know, <laughs> 1080p restorations of uh, VHS trailers. But you add all that together, you're looking at about eight hours per volume of these. So this is 16 hours of vintage trailers and they are an education. As I was saying, we watch a lot of movies. We are very familiar. One of the things that surprised me, and I don't to say surprised me, one of the things that pleased me is how many of these movies we've actually covered at Serial at Midnight. Not just on the channel, but at SerialAtMidnight.com. There are plenty of trailers for movies that we've done full reviews for at SerialAtMidnight.com. Things that have been released by boutique labels like Scorpion Releasing, uh, Code Red, Severin, Vinegar Syndrome, Kino Lorber, all of the usual suspects when it comes to this lower budget, really cult film kind of stuff. We've done a lot of reviews for some of this stuff, but these are vital because there are so many movies I honestly, I've never even heard of. You guys know that I love Westerns. We've done a Western spotlight here. We're working behind the scenes on uh, our Western spotlight too, but there's essentially on the, um, the With a Vengeance trailer compilation, there's a solid hour chunk of westerns and spaghetti western trailers and it is an education i really mean that so of course they have little blocks that's one of the things that i love about these is i'll, I'll run b-roll footage of the actual listings of the trailers in the order that they play so you can kind of see they'll do like a black exploitation chunk and then they'll move into like an 80s action chunk clint eastwood dirty harry chunk that sort of a thing they get into a solid hour of western trailers and they show of course Sergio Leone's A Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly all in a row, back to back to back, which is wonderful. And I gotta be honest with you guys, some of these trailers I've never seen. I'm well versed in the movies, but I don't make a habit of watching trailers. Like if I buy a Blu-ray, I usually don't watch the trailer because I'm watching the movie. I'm like, well, I don't need to watch the trailer. But there is, what I have learned from this experience is that 
the trailer is an art form. Maybe not now. I'm not sure about now. <laughs> History will decide that one. But vintage trailers, there's an art form to it, especially these drive-in trailers. There's often music and narration, and they're totally different from the movie. So these, these uh, Clint Eastwood Spaghetti Westerns from Sergio Leone, uh, are beautiful and the good and the bad the ugly trailer actually gave me goosebumps like the entire trailer like it, for most of the trailer I was just like ooh I feel so I feel so warm it was really wonderful but my point is being the western fan that I am I have hundreds of westerns in the collection here at the Serial at Midnight Archives they have trailers for westerns I've never heard of spaghetti westerns that I've never heard of studio westerns that I have never heard of and that is indicative of the entire trailer compilations themselves. There's tons of things on here that I have never heard of. So these are an education. These are things that you can watch. And, you know, for instance, like watching the Dead by Dawn trailer compilation, uh, I talked about this in our more unseen horror video. Like, I'm familiar with Giallo titles, and I'm familiar with, you know, like, oh, that's a Fulci movie. Oh, that's a Dario Argento movie. But, I'm not familiar with the trailers of some of these and the actual imagery of some of these things. And so we get into like, and this one as well has like a solid hour of European sleazy horror trailers. Uh, and it is like, what? And I'm telling you, by the end of it, you just need to go take a shower because it's so dreamy. You know, that's the thing about Italian horror. Italian cinema in general just tends to be very dreamlike. Like real world logic doesn't follow. It, it's more of a... Uh, a, kind of a fairy tale, dark fairy tale sometimes, but they're not really concerned with like, this isn't, this doesn't make sense. This isn't real. They chase that dreamscape sort of a thing. After like an hour of that, of just like trailer, 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 you're just like, what? It's like the, the in, inside the mouth of madness is what you are. But so many of these trailers, I'm like, well, I know this movie and I, I know the stars, they all star Klaus Kinski. He's in 99% of European... <laughs> <laughs> movies he's not really but it does feel that way because he pops up so much but uh you're watching these trailer compilations and i'm just like i this is i have to go watch this movie so i will warn you ahead of time that i highly recommend these but also be prepared because you will be making lists of things that you have to see some of these trailers are just like i mean it's like crack dealing right it's like oh i didn't know that man they give you the trailer for free you know and then you got to go look for the movie some of them give you such a good idea of what the movie is that you you get enough you feel like you can intelligently talk about it in a conversation so some of these italian these giallo movies uh some of these other movies i'm like i've never seen that movie but at least now i can have a conversation about this movie because i've seen the trailer i get the gist of what it is Education. I'm going to keep hammering that word. Guys, take a shot every time I say education. Actually, do not do that because you will die. Uh, but I, I really am a fan of these. They're done with a lot of love. Like I said, about eight hours per volume. These are going for around 20 bucks in the United States. Um, of course, outside of the United States, conversion rates and retail prices will vary. But here in the U.S. where I am, these are available from Diabolik DVD or Di I always it's it, the Diabolik DVD, but I say Diabolik DVD because it just feels more Italian to me. Diabolik DVD, and then they're also available from Amazon and like all the usual suspects here in the states. But then uh, they're also available internationally as well. I, I highly recommend them. I think they're done with a ton of love. Look at the discs themselves. It's a film canister. These are all restored from 35 millimeter prints. So film it really does look like film however i say restored they're not crystal clear they're not like um they are clear they're not spotless is what i'm saying these are film transfers of grindhouse and um you know exploitation style cinema trailers and so they do have the speckles and the spots and the evidence that we're watching film i love that i'm of the film generation i know we've moved on to digital that's another video i don't want to talk about it really i love film i love the the visceral uh feeling of 24 frames per second film exposed shot properly it is uh, is incomparable i really do believe that so they are very much recreating the film vibe here you know what i want to do i'm going to take this uh this out and just name some of the things that really stuck out to me that the black exploitation block we've got shaft superfly hammer starring fred the hammer williamson um so uh, head up hell up in harlem 
uh, Blackenstein, Coffee. So look, we've got all the classics right there. We've got we've got Shaft, we've got Coffee, we've got Pam Greer, Fred the Hammer Williamson. And then they move into um, like cop movies, seventies cop movies. They move into uh, like the Dirty Harry, the Vigilante movies of the seventies, so like French Connection, French Connection Two, The Seven Ups. Magnum Force, Dirty Harry, that's a little chunk, little blocks. They work in little blocks and they easily transition into other blocks as well. Serpico. <laughs> What's up with Al Pacino's voice, you guys? You see him in these old movies. He's like, you know, never ask me about my business, okay? Actually, I saw him in press recently for the Scorsese movie that's coming to Netflix uh, with uh, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci and he did not sound... He sounded up here like this. He was talking like this. He wasn't talking like this. He was up here like this. And I'm like, maybe that's the real Pacino and everything else is a performance. Discuss among yourselves. Um, then we move into British cop movies. So there's the Sweeney, Sweeney 2, stuff like that. Really, really cool. These are so eclectic. Uh, Canon movies, Charles Bronson movies, uh, Cobra, the Stallone classic. I love Cobra. I don't shop here. Go ahead. I don't shop here. That's not a very good Stallone. Uh, we go into like military movies. The Eagle Has Landed, Three Days of the Condor, Force 10 from Navarone. Um, some some sexploitation stuff. There's Seven, which it, not the, what's in the box? Not that one with Brad Pitt and Gwyneth, but uh, the original Seven with An the Andy Sedaris movie. You guys know we love to talk about Malibu Bay films here. Uh, the Andy Sedaris movie, Seven with William Smith. Again, not not Will Smith, but William Smith. The original Will Smith. Um, Hot Rock. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Just going through these, I'm like, I hadn't seen that one and I ordered it because of this, because of watching this trailer compilation. It's probably going to cost you extra money because you're going to be like, I've never heard of this movie. I, I So many movies. I'm watching this. I'm taking notes. I'm building a list. And then I'm going to Amazon or eBay or all these different places. I'm like, does this exist on Blu-ray? Most of the time they do. They actually have a pretty good record of most of these movies are available. I'm just not familiar with them. Things that have kind of quietly slipped under the radar over the last 15 to 20 years on DVD and Blu-ray. Some of them don't have Blu-rays. Some of them are just on DVD. But such a cool compilation. These are just newer ones in the series. There's an entire... Uh, here, I'll show you inside of the the package there's previous volumes and i'm in i'm so in i got to get the rest of these because um like i was saying it's it's get get your shots like get your shot glasses ready it's an education on the kind of cinema that nobody's really talking about these days you know we with generational gaps and stuff we tend to lose things like this and I don't hear a lot of you horror movies tend to stay evergreen because the horror community for whatever reason the horror community is really passionate about horror movie preservation but when you get to some of these other things these action movies these western movies i hear a whole lot less people talking about them um and that's kind of unfortunate but we're going to do our job to do that here we're going to raise them up and and shine a light on them so all the movies that i've purchased because of these trailer compilations are going to get shouted out either on the channel or at serial at midnight.com over time look it's an ongoing process but i wanted to talk to you guys about these because uh i think they're the coolest i wasn't sure what i was going to be in for it sounds kind of dry right like just sitting down and listening to or just watching trailers for hours but it's not. It's really not. Like I lost time with these. I feel like I was abducted by aliens. I have I have missing time. I would sit down for I'd be like, okay, I have 30 minutes before I really need to go up to bed. House is quiet. It's dark. I pop it on. I'm just like, I'm gonna watch 30 minutes, then I'm gonna go to bed. And I check and be like an hour and 42 minutes later and be like, I can't stop. Just one more. Okay, just one more. It's like potato chips. I'm like, <laughs> just one more trailer. Uh, or Columbo pops in. Just one more thing. You know, one, you, you know one, one more thing. We could put in one more trailer. Let's do... Uh, you told your wife you were coming to bed, but you started watching the trailers, and all of a sudden, you know, I just can't help but notice you're not going to bed. Why don't we just keep watching these trailers? That was... <laughs> Thank you. That's my Columbo. Uh, guys, I do recommend these highly. These are Umbrella Entertainment's Drive-In Delirium Collection, Dead by Dawn and with a vengeance. Uh, if you pick them up, tell them Serial at Midnight sent you. We do appreciate the review copies of these so that we could spread the word about them. Guys, take care.
by the way, I'll put links in this video for if, if you want to grab these. I'll link to that in the video description. Thanks for your time. Thanks for hanging out. Have you discovered the Drive-In Delirium collections? What are some of your favorites, some of your standouts, some of the coolest trailers uh, that you discovered through those collections? Thank you very much. Take care. I appreciate you. And until next time, I will catch you later. Thank you.